live. Hello, and thanks for holding out while we uh, we did a quick little break and got some cookies and some water and drinks and stuff. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight for part one of The Dare, our spooky Halloween uh, special. Um, uh, the, to, as a quick recap, uh, our, our brave young heroes, uh, and by young I mean members of Harbor Bay uh, Elementary, uh, our 10, 11, and 12-year-old heroes, have been dared to stay the night in Breaker Manor, uh, which is a the little, reputed local haunted house of the town, because every town has one. Um, and as they've, uh, on Halloween night of all nights, uh, thanks to the the shenanigans and pushing and, and, and rudeness of uh, Roger, the team, the, the school bully, who uh, definitely uh, uh, the heroes now think is up to no good, because, well, he's a school bully. So, um, They've uh, come into the house and have been investigating it and seeing some strange strangeness so far. Uh, the least of which was a giant, uh, creepy looking rat. Um, but more importantly, uh, old, desiccated, destroyed belongings, a strange knapsack that's relatively new and belongs to someone uh, that's uh, obviously not uh, the kids and, uh, and other weird oddities with like a a grandfather clock that was chiming and ticking despite being broken. So uh, we find the party with half of the kids up in the front foyer in the main entrance hall, uh, kind of standing between the parlor and the dining room. And others have wrangled off to the kitchen. So we have we've officially broken the cardinal rule of never since a party. <laughs> and and I, I, as a game master, could not be happier. So thank you, players. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. So, so with that, um, we pick up uh, for the second part of tonight's episode with uh, with uh, three of our heroes uh, up in the main hallway and the other two trouncing through the pantry into the next room. With that... They open the door to reveal what appears to be a kitchen. Kitchen. Uh, there are several cupboards and drawers. Uh, half of them are kind of open and ramshackled. Um, there's a couple pot uh, in the in the the, the counter. There's you know, what appears to be some um, uh, pots and pans and and the utensils and stuff kind of scattered across the counters. Some of them on the floor. Um, is there already a candle lit in here? Uh, there is a candle lit in here already. Mm. Okay, it was in here earlier when we were going to the dining room. I guess, yeah. Um, yeah and as you kind of glance over it, you see um, various uh, cans and, and other packages which are partially opened and, and contents is spilled across the floor of the counters. Some of it rank and moldy and, and gross. So, oh. Hey, wait, there's just another door here poke around in the cabinet to see if there's anything so, unopened. I'm looking at the door. Is Roger carrying around like a bag with these candles in it or? He does have a backpack with him slung over his shoulder. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to walk up to him and start like pulling on the bag and grab a candle. Hey, hey, that's mine. Get your hands off, weirdo. Shut up, shorty. <laughs> and I'm just like literally pushed down at him and as I take a candle. <laughs> Um, so you're, you're doing that as uh, there's a slight altercation going up the front hall and the two, everyone else in the house <laughs> on the first floor can, you can hear the hands off me weirdo and what are you going to do about it shorty um, so so with that um, I, as you Two are scurrying around the kitchen. Uh, would you guys go, both of you, make me a perception? Sure. Uh, a, a searching, uh, sorry, uh, uh, a get my, I'll get my words right yet tonight. Uh, a perception snooping test. Neither of us, I can't snoop. <gasps> I did get stunt points though. Great, now I need to actually read the stunt things. Ugh. Mm. 
Your Wi-Fi is so bad right now. Eight. You guys are not great snoopers. Look how old these beans are. They're like stuck <laughs> in the counter. Why are you looking at the beans? Cool. They're all dried up. Okay, I don't know what to do with stun points. I'm a little... So, uh, stun points would trigger if you were successful on the test. Um, no. uh, I was looking for an 11, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. And you got a 10, so... <laughs> okay, um, okay, then. Um... Uh, who else is in the uh, the, the dining room with? Uh, sorry, the kitchen with with. Literally just the two of us. Yep, I got okay. eight. Tim, because okay. this bean is really cool. Yeah, so as you're looking around, you see uh, you do see some beans and stuff, and some of it's moldy because it's been opened and gross, and Ew. it's 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 yeah dehydrated and it's been here for for a long time. Um, and as you're monkeying through stuff and fishing through stuff, you do find uh, you do. Uh, get startled as a large rat uh, snaps out <laughs> at you. Ah. Uh, and so with that, uh, the rat is actually going to attempt to snap at you. God, it is the plague. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. So uh, I, I, uh, I was a bad GM and didn't finish loading my NPCs in putting my rats into roll 20, so I'm going to have to roll old-fashioned dice to see if... Um, so, I did make a roll. So, for for the system we're using, which is the uh, H system, uh, i rolling my attack against your... Um, against your character's um, defense. So, what is your defense on your character, should say? Mine is a 12. 12. Cool. So um, with that, the rat snatches at you. You quickly pull your hand back just barely. It, you, you can almost feel like the whiskers and stuff brush against your, your arm as it snapped at you. Um, and then it's going to run away because it basically lodged out at you as because you scared it and it's now running away. <laughs> um, are you going to attempt to... Um, do anything, or are you just gonna let it go? Ah, no, so ah, scared it away. We're good. Cool. Um. Awesome. So while you two are looking around the kitchen, uh, what are the others of you doing? You reached in, you grabbed uh, Ruffle through his backpack to get his to get a candle. Would mm -hmm. you make me a spooky stuff test with? I would love to make a spooky stuff test. Uh, apparently, I'm really focused on the candle. I got a 10. Okay. Um, so, with that, um, you do... Uh, you, these are... Uh, slightly lumpy and odd shaped you know like homemade candles as opposed to you know um you know fancy fancy stuff that you get at like a you know high-end store anything like that so um you could just buy a candle okay whatever what i got and, what i got uh, i get leave me alone i will go to one of the, I, I don't want to fight him for whatever he's lighting them with, so I will go to one of the other lit candles and light it, and then just kind of carry it around. <laughs> awesome. Let me go and let's take, tweak your, can, your character real quick. So let me cut your token, so um, you now uh, emit light. Yay, from a weird lumpy candle. <laughs> Did you see the size of that rat? It was huge. I don't like it. Ran off. It's okay. Okay, but it's still here. Well, not here, but... No, not here, but here. Oh, right. Do you think there's bean ghosts? I don't know. I'll ask Charlie. Sister. I don't know. Let's find out. Door, door, door. 
Door, door, door at the explorer. Basement. All right, where did the others go? Guys, we found the basement. And a rat. Charlie. What? Can there be bean goose ahead. too? Beans oh, don't have on. souls. What do you mean? Not all living things have souls. You have to have a soul to have be a ghost. Where are you? We're in the kitchen. kitchen. There's no food, and there was a rat, but I scared it off. Oh, there you are. Okay. In the basement. Okay, basements are super haunted. So you want to go in the basement? Heck yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Don't you want to go in the basement? Particularly, but I guess it would be probably where the rat isn't because the door was shut. Oh no, the rats are definitely in the basement. That's gross. Hey, Julia. You're on mute. <laughs> I'm just sassing everybody. <laughs> I, I was laughing. I was laughing at Bean Ghost for a hot minute. <laughs> I laughed at that for a while. <laughs> and then I'm like, you think there are less rats in the basement? <laughs> yeah, no, there's definitely that's probably where the rats are getting in. So that they probably live down there and they come that's up here for like meal. food. So why don't we just hang out up here for the rest of the night? I mean, I kind of feel like we should okay. save the super haunted place for later. Right. But like in the middle of the here. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all tired no, and sleep no, deprived. No. Right, okay. No. no. And we should Can go we upstairs just... now. Why do we want to not... Why do we... Oh my god. Why do we want to go into the basement at all? Are there less rats upstairs? Maybe. I don't worry. I'll scare I mean, them off. It's up, so I mean, I guess it would be harder to get up there, right? I guess, but I mean, there are just stairs exposed, so they could I don't just... really know how rats work. I'm not gonna lie, I've never run into one. Are rats friends with the polar gas? No, but they are friends with the bean ghosts. Uh, bean there ghosts aren't are bean good. ghosts! <laughs> you can't! Look, if you guys aren't gonna take this seriously... But you should just leave. <laughs> beans are alive, like <laughs> like the sound of music. <laughs> beans don't have souls. Plants don't have souls. You can't be a ghost unless you have a soul. So it's like people and animals. <laughs> but like the little flowers look towards the sun every day, so maybe they have souls. What's the sun got to do with it? Do you even know how souls work? <laughs> no. There's no badge for it, so no. I love I love him. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well the basement's right so here. Badge. Let's go downstairs. Let's see what happens. So bad. <laughs> so, no, so no, the, we gotta go the, upstairs first. The rest of you have joined them in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> is there anything else anyone wants to snoop around the kitchen for? Um, uh, we'd look. We didn't see anything. Can I get a pan? An old, like an old fire pan? pan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can find an old fire pan. I cool. also would like to try to look for a weapon. <laughs> Make me a uh, perception check. Snoop it if you got it. I don't have Snoop. <laughs> I get the freebie. I get the pan. You oh, I only, got, I only got an eight. That's smart, Harriet. Now if you smack that pan, let's get rats to get really scared and run off. Yeah, we could like double team it so we can make like bang bang and scare right. rats. Nice. My bad. So let, let me see. In this kitchen, we have yeah. Doofus who doesn't even know how souls work. And we have the person who doesn't actually want to be here. I think I'm going to Snoop too. <laughs> I'd really rather just be at home reading a book. Uh, 14, two stun points. Yeah, look how old awesome. these beans are, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's 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 lots of really gross food. Really gross, like moldy, like uh, infested. Uh, some of the stuff as you, as it uh, wiggles and whirls uh, as your as stuff is in it, like stuff things growing in it, like moving around, like 
like magic Ew. and stuff. Okay. Um, it's really gross. But that's why as you dig- perception checks. <laughs> as you as you're digging <laughs> as you're digging through, um, looking for weapons, um, you do find uh, some pots and pans that would work. Uh, you do also find some some culture cutlery that would work. Some actually good like steak knives and stuff that would actually like do some damage. Um, that are that are in fairly good good condition and still usable. Uh, and you find uh, a a big butcher's like chop. Uh, and as you're snooping around, uh, you see what looks like a. Uh, it, uh, the door to the, the oven is partially open, and so you, as you as you snoop it around and see if there's any pots and heavy heavy, uh, you know, pots and pans and stuff in there, you see what appears to be a large mound, of. Well, ash, a big mound of ashes, and what appears to be several bones sticking out of it. Hmm. Burnt the turkey. I. <laughs> gonna sort of hold the candle in toward it to get a little better look at it. <laughs> okay. Would you like Somebody to doesn't ahead... have to cook. Would you like to go ahead and make me a uh, intelligence check? Sure. I'm, I'm guessing you don't have science class or nature as a focus. I don't. Just straight up Intelligence. Hold on. Yeah, I was uh, wondering if Sherwood 16. could also. I was wondering if Sherwood could also take a look at the thing. I don't know if he has any sort of. He doesn't really have any on his sheet any sort of animal expertise, but I don't know if he might have something to apply here. Although I don't, I don't know if I can get better than a sixteen anyway. <laughs> cool. Uh, as a sixteen, uh, as you get a better look at it, um. You realize it, it's 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 an arm bone, Ugh. like a human arm bone. Uh, specifically, uh, the arm bone of a human child. Oh, that's gross. Why are we? And uh, as. Um, you're looking around, uh, Sherwood. You do see that uh, amongst all the other stuff in that in the, the room, there's pot, pots and pans and stuff like that. And over by the kitchen, uh, the, in uh, over by the stove, where she's speaking at, um, you also uh, up on the wall. You see what looks like the old, like an old style telephone, hanging on the wall. So for the kids in the audience. Phones used to have to be plugged in. <laughs> okay, things. I know that much. <laughs> and, and usually it resided in either the hallway or kitchen or multiple rooms in the house. But there usually was like a, a, a phone that was mounted on the wall. Um, yeah. Is this phone like uh, early style, like uh, mobile handset, like wireless handset? Or is this like old style, like rotary dial corded phone? It is a. It was probably a cutting edge corded phone at one point. Uh, so it is. Uh, it, Push so button it's, it's, and. So it's uh, got a rotary dial, but it actually is the, the solid headset as opposed to the old school where you actually had to put the little hook on it. It was the. Okay. It was just the little yeah. rectangular block that that had a little rotor on it, as opposed to the full rotary phone on the ground. Okay. So, but yeah. I'm just gonna stare at the arm for a minute. Are you Consider... sharing the fact that you saw that? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to uh, stare at it for a minute. Consider taking it. Decide against it, and just close the oven. Wow. And pretend I didn't see that. Did you find anything? I saw a phone over here. Uh, somebody doesn't know how to cook. You probably shouldn't put a lit candle on a gas stove. It seems dangerous. 
I mean, I think the gas has been turned off for ages. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that, that works here. It's still, they, t- they tend to turn. They tend oh to my- turn your utilities off when you don't pay the bills. <laughs> I'm talking about safety. Well, as I mean, as much as we can be, uh, everybody's you know getting weapons and sharp things and lighting fires and a lot of this isn't very safe. Is is all is all I'm saying. Thank Harriet you, Dad. Said, yeah, Harriet said you need magic or holy to fight a polar gas. I, I don't think fighting a poltergeist is very safe either. See, None of what we're doing is safe. Why can't you say it? Next, you'll oh, be running scissors. <laughs> okay, look, I think we should check upstairs before we go in the basement. I think we should just not go into the basement. I think we should just leave. Where's Roger? Like Roger! Upstairs. Oh, don't. Roger's fine. He's lighting candles. Let's go upstairs then. <laughs> Roger, we're going upstairs. See? Roger probably brought us all here to kill us anyway. Roger! Little psychopath. Harsh. Really annoying when you don't answer. That's what they all look like. Should we go looking for him? Wasn't he with you guys? I thought he was coming over he here. He was in the hallway. Why is he not? Probably hot in somewhere so he can try and scare us. Big doofus. I'm going to go back out and there's look a, for Roger. There's a door down here. I'll meet you at the stairs, guys. I'm going to pause. Note that I realize that it's right. there's a door down here. Roger, you little turd. Where are you? You know, that door would have gotten you to the stairs faster. Boop. Shoot, where are the stairs? I'm in the dark. Help me. <laughs> help oh, me. No. Help me. <laughs> Take my Don't worry, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm back. Roger. Try to stay in the light. Where did go? Hmm. Don't did he go out the back? Is there any Maybe. footprints? The, the, ba- the back door is shut. So... Uh, Did it look like the front door had been disturbed? I will jiggle the handle a little bit to see if it's still locked. Uh, the front door is still locked, yes. Could I apply survival to track Roger? <laughs> sure, you make me roll. Uh, 13 with no stunt points. Cool, sure. Would you like Tonto on the Lone Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> Um, your best guess is that he may have gone upstairs. All right. Um, I think he's upstairs. Uh, let's go. Okay. And, and Roger. Stick together. <laughs> upstairs, like. So the crew's gonna go upstairs. Don't leave yep. me. Roger. There's a big rat. <laughs> I think Roger is a big rat. True. He looks like a rat. (laughs) And you go up and to the stairs and you end up on a landing. Off this landing, there are multiple doorways and there's a banister that uh, the stir banister wraps around uh, back on itself. So it looks like there's a uh, uh, the steps the steps that you just came up lead to the landing. There's another set of steps off that same landing that goes up to another floor above it. Possibly the attic. Roger. Uh, there are seven doors off um, of, off of this landing. I like this door. Let me go for this door. Yep, go open the first door and right beside and just go, Roger. Door. Yeah. Why do we care so much about where Roger is? Because he could be doing something stupid that we'll have to deal with. He probably is. Well, okay. He's doing something unsafe. We have to make sure he's. Oh my gosh, Sherwood. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you just like take a breath with the safety thing? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, breathing is also important. 
Sherwood, <laughs> good looking out. Thank you, Sherwood. Ah, surrounded by idiots. There's a reason I have this badge here for emergency preparedness. Oh yes, congratulations on your badges. I understand you have badges, and you have to get certain activities to get more badges. We get it. Yeah, be that's, nice. That's, that's how that works. I think they're pretty cool. What's that in makes... this room? Because I'm looking at it. Uh, so you open up the, the bedroom, uh, the door to the bedroom. It appears to be um, off the main room. Um, there's the moldy remains of what appears to once been a queen size bed, oh. torn and torn and stained. There's no other furniture other than a fine uh, mirror in a brass frame next to the window. Uh, um, I'm gonna go. Look. Hey, uh, 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 I think oh. there's something about that window. I mean, the mirror. So there is also uh, over here in this area near that the the, the window. Uh, I don't know if you see my little ping, but yeah, we can uh, over mm -hmm. over near the, the that is uh, that whole section seems to be bowed a little bit, mm. and there's lots of it looks dark and stained, and it looks like there's stuff growing on it. I think this is where the water damage is coming from. Yeah. I'm gonna kick one of the bedposts. And you can see that the uh, that the window over near there is busted open. Um, and so it easily, de depending on the storms and stuff, rain could be pouring uh, pouring through that window. And that could be where the water damage is coming from. If the bed doesn't break when I kick it. I'm jumping. Why are you looking? Who are you? We're, we're all over here looking at like the water damaged wall and the window, and suddenly we hear. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. Um. Hey, but near Charlie. What about it? Yeah. 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 Do, what? What? You got excited about the clock. Do you think there's something with that? I mean, the mirror could be haunted. It's not broken, is it? Like the other I, one? I don't know. Is it? Nope. No. No. Nope. The other one Let's looks like it, was, it, it. The other one looks like it probably fell when and it, it it fell and shattered. This one is still mounted on the wall. Hmm. I'm gonna go look at it. Charlie, <laughs> can beds be haunted too? Yeah. Have it. Yeah. 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 That might Darren. eat you. We should probably get off of that. Darren, do you know how many poor people probably died of the plague on that bed? Please get up. The, the bed had the plagues? The people <laughs> in the bed had the plague. Oh, man. You know what the M plague possibly, is? Possibly leprosy, too. What? Everybody just died. Huh? I read about it in the history class. It was like 50 years ago? <laughs> yeah. He will struggle his way off the bed and stand up. It was like when our parents were kids. Oh. Yeah, like 100 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what if there's a poltergeist in there? He starts poking it. But if, it, if there's a poltergeist in the bed, you don't want to wake it up. Would you please stop poking things? Well, how do you tell if there's a poltergeist in there? It'll try to eat you. Thanks for not trying to eat me, bed. <laughs> I'm just going to shake my head and go back to <laughs> investigating this mirror. I'm kind of following to look at the mirror because I'm curious. I'm just also terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just going to go check this door down here. <laughs> you guys are so distracting. And I'm going to pull out my Walkman, put in a mixtape. <laughs> Pull on my headphones and go into snooping mode. Bit dramatic. I can't yeah. hear you. <laughs> Wiping the dust off and the crud. So, someone's gone into mixtape mode. Yep. <laughs> um, while they're doing mixtape mode, um, did you go try to uh, 
check out the, the door? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I was going to check out this door down here. Okay. Uh, awesome. That is awesome news. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, no. What could possibly <laughs> go on? Um, Hopefully nothing. So, <laughs> I'm going to need a alienation test from you. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let me double check what kind because I don't have. I I run Cthulhu Awakens a few times, but I don't have it all memorized yet. Uh, I'm, working on, I'm working on fixing that. But um, <laughs> I, I love I love Cthulhu Awakens. It's it's awesome. Um, so I'm going to need. Uh, there it is. Looking for the, the handout, I put it in all 20 because it's it's handy like that. If I can remember which folder I put it in. Um, I'm going to need a willpower. Um, And courage test. Uh, don't have a focus for willpower. Just regular just willpower. Straight, just straight willpower. Okay. And my inspire only applies to allies. Uh, yes, but one of your team members also has inspire. Ah, fair. Yes, yep. yes. Me, who's right next to you. I feel inspired. Trying to inspire you not to be a dum dum. <laughs> so Get that badge. 11 total on that roll. Well, luckily for you, I was looking for an 11 or better. So, and it's, oh. uh, and age uses meet or beat. So you beat. So, yay. Or you meet or beat. So you're successful. Um, because this is not so eldritchy, but it is a first time your character has seen a dead body. Oh my God. You get a badge for that? <laughs> you know, actually. Yeah, we call it the Outsiders badge. Uh, I, I believe that's the Stand By Me badge. Um, yeah, yeah, the Stand By Me badge. Um, uh, so, so inside uh, of the closet, crumpled against the back, is the remains of what appears to be um, uh, a person. Um, the body's clad in a heavy jacket and trousers. Uh, it looks like he's been partially eaten by rats. Uh, he's Ugh. lost both of his eyes. Um, like, yeah, like a big a big chunk of him has been kind of chewed apart and stuff like that. So, um, uh, and um, uh, the whole carpet and the whole in the closet is all stained sickly brown red. Um, as yeah, as he is, as you're staring at a, a the remnants of a body. Um, what did you, did you check something real quick? Sure, what? Sure, what? What is it? Uh, it, I, I, it. it. <laughs> he he's like struggling to complete a sentence at the words, moment. Words, words. <laughs> and he just lifts the lantern and points. With a shaky finger and a shaky let, lantern. Let, let, let me inflict the uh, the alienation test on everyone else in the group. Um, so, uh, with that, anyone who looks in the closet, I'm going to need you to make me an alienation test. It was willpower. It's going to be willpower, yes. And I actually, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about the coughing, but uh, yes, it is a willpower test. Uh, it is actually. Uh, um, let me double check the focus because I said courage, but that was incorrect. I just looked it up a second ago, and now I don't have it up. So, um, it was willpower and uh... no, no, I was courage. I, courage, I was right. Ugh, I don't we have don't that. I am yourself. not brave. You know what you're doing. Uh, 11. 11. Oh, 12. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Um, now, uh, so you look in, you see the body, you're able to freak out a little bit, but you're able to retain, you know, like, ah, composure. Um, because of that, and because you have, I believe you have, uh, be a pal? Um, no. No? I have be a no. pal. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, I'm not a pal. No. Not anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, yeah, so you're able to see, uh, see the body. Yeah, you actually, um, you recognize the, the dead person. Uh, he is old Danny. Uh, he's a homeless man that uh, lives around town. Uh, he occasionally gets hired by different people to do odd jobs um, around town. Uh, he, you know, at one point your father helped hired him to help move a bunch of like you know the boulders and stuff on landscape to do some landscaping work and stuff like that. Help. He hired him and a couple other guys to help you know do some landscaping stuff on on your house. Um, cause your dad's tries to help him out whenever he can. Cause he's, you know, your dad's a fairly decent human being, but you know, um, but yeah, but unfortunately old Danny is no longer with us. God, Sher Sherwood, that's the homeless guy. It is the plague. Look at all the rats. What, what do we do? Wasn't there a phone downstairs? Can we call the police? Right, yeah. Uh, you get a badge for that? I, I think so. For calling the police? I mean, <laughs> sure. I don't know. I don't know. Just let's just let's just go. <laughs> this is this is going a little outside of my badges. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't seem very safe. Should we tell everyone else? Maybe we should just. Wait. Tell them not Did to Julia go in this room. say that it's not very safe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, you noticed safety. <laughs> you noticed. <laughs> um, I don't know. Should we? What are you guys There's sort doing? of some messed up stuff in there. Hey, guys, what did you find in there? Nothing. Uh... There's yeah. that little, like, I don't trust you poking your head around. <laughs> Yay! Make me a, make me an alienation <laughs> test. Of course. Why would I Gen not traditionally, traditionally mundane things like um, human things like this would not trigger uh, alienation tests uh, in Cthulhu Awakens, but you're playing 11-year-olds, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it does. because We're yeah. whittle babies. No, I got stat points, but it doesn't matter because I don't think I succeeded. Uh, 14. 14's pretty good. You also oh, yeah, 14. One from either of us. Oh, then yeah, that's 15. 15. Yeah. 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 Uh, apparently Harriet has seen a dead body before. Yeah. Harriet <laughs> does not care. I remember learning about this in anatomy class. <laughs> anatomy um, class is an 11 year <laughs> it was an extra class my mom let me take it during summer so i i will i will actually give you some of the other bonus stuff that would require normally different types of checks and stuff but you got you got stunt points so yeah so what, what what, as, as, you, as you look at it you kind of detach and just kind of go okay you go you go into like science mode and go yep. okay it's a body let's it's let's mode. let's yeah uh obviously his you know, lots of blood uh, stained the, the carpet and all that stuff. Um, the body's clump, clumpled up and, and against the back of the, the closet uh, amongst uh, some other debris and uh, like mildy remains of boxes and stuff like that. Um, there is a cord kind of draped over it, it, his shoulder and stuff, which uh, looks like, which would lead you to believe based on the, the way his neck is bent and stuff like that, that he probably died of strangulation. Um, you do know that um, uh, while he does look partially chewed up by rats, rats almost never attack a full, would never attack a full size human. It's way too big for them. So, yeah, they may have been eating on him, but they were eating on him after he probably died. Um, and you do notice that he is missing his right hand. Okay, so I think he was strangled with how the cords on him. Um, he's missing a hand. What did the rats eat the hand? 
Mm, I don't think so. Well, maybe. Well, no, I wouldn't mean missing the hand. They would be, like, eating the flesh, but I don't think they could get through the bone. I don't remember reading about rats being strong enough to do that. Um, but, uh, he was probably eaten after he was strangled. You're crazy. <laughs> I really would rather not think about it as... Apparently you're already thinking about it. Well, I mean, like, thinking about it in terms of, like... Mm, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cool, like, detective puzzle. Should we go call the police? Probably. That's, yeah, let's report this, right? Definitely. <sighs> Charlie! Guys, but what if Roger is, like, the murderer? What if he strangled this man? He really kill him? I think that's even more reason to call for help. We all saw his haircut. I'm not sure what's wrong with the haircut, actually. We're not letting go of that haircut. If you were, I could have him a mullet, but I didn't. I he could what? have a mullet! <laughs> I love what be like. Charlie's like, oh, okay. <laughs> He has a bull cut. Bull cut. We're gonna frame you for murder. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, but uh, we're not framing him. We're accusing him. It's different. <laughs> if we stop him now, he'll never become his final four. <laughs> I love that you all are doing this, and <laughs> I can get your Charlie is just rocking out over there by the mirror, <laughs> just like. <laughs> Having a good look over this mirror, and got has the, no idea what's going on behind her. I've got the sheet stripped off the bed, looking at the mattress. I'm like, there's nothing. I'm gonna go over to Charlie and kind of do the little like shake, 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 shake. Charlie, 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 Charlie. What? Uh, there's a body. Charlie, b before that happens, before that happens, I need uh -huh. Charlie to make me an alienation test. Okay. What kind? And, and this one is going to be a... Um, phenomena check. So, uh, on actually, if you if you want, on the on your character sheet on the second tab, where it says phenomena, there's a little die on that chart, it will automatically put the, the appropriate um, focus for you. A 10 with a modifier of one yes because you filled it earlier by one um okay no Fantastic. because you you because yeah. you succeeded succeeded earlier any now now the target number has gone up by one so yep um so um so you're looking at the mirror and stuff and you see, you see some commotion and movement behind you because uh, the mirror is literally you know right across the room in between you mm -hmm. and the room, uh, on the other side of the room, right across is the is the closet. You see, they're all clustered around the closet. Uh, yep. Your guess is like you can see it's a closet. You can't see the body because they're all standing in the way, but you can see it's a closet they're looking into. And yep. uh, as they're doing that, uh, you go to you go to turn around and look to see them because you see you, you see your, your um, car uh, it's one of the characters turn that's going to start heading your direction. And as you as you go to move your head. You realize that your reflection doesn't move for half a second, and so you move, and it doesn't move. And then, and then, as you glance back at the mirror, it's it's back in sync. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. Yikes! And as you try it again, everything kind of goes the way it's supposed to. Charlie, 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 but. But What's because, you, but, you, <laughs> but you did fail that test because that target number uh -huh. was a little higher. So that that target number modifier goes away, but you do get one point towards um. Uh, oh, should I enlightenment and terror? Yeah, modifier? should I have yep. gotten a TN modifier for yes succeeding yep. for yes. what a phenomena? Uh, a body yours, that's not a phenomena. Yeah, yours was a revelation. Uh, revelation. Ooh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. Phenomena. Phenomena. Yeah, phenomena is like strange sounds, strange lights. Um, yeah, things like that. Weird stuff happening. That Ghost clocks. Sense. 
things that don't quite mirrors that don't act the way they should. <laughs> Listen, I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> nope, nope, no, no, really? no, no, that's just yeah. It's... <laughs> just, just like tugging on their shirt. Charlie, 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 Charlie. What? Stop there's, it! Stop touching me. <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a body in the closet. There's, there's a what? What? There's a body in the closet. It was the one homeless dude. Do you remember him? Do I remember a homeless dude? Okay. Uh, there's a well-known homeless guy That's in him. town named Danny. Danny. Need to call the police. Yeah, Danny's that. in the closet? Danny's dead in the closet. Whoa. Why is Danny dead in the closet? Uh, I think he was strangled. And How would we know? His body was. I think he was strangled. What? He has a cord around his neck, so it looks like he'd be strangled. Roger! <laughs> Roger, you little toad, where are you? Stop! What if he killed him? What if he's here to kill us? You you think that Roger, four foot nothing Roger, strangled a grown man? Maybe. A street Maybe he's got man? some weird skills. You he's think that freak. Roger strangled a street man? Maybe! If he was really good at tying knots, he could have pulled it off. Yeah, he probably has like a tying knot badge. I mean, that seems suspicious. I don't know. Have you? You you look at the cord around his neck. I don't. I didn't see any knots. I don't know. You tell me. I think I'm gonna not look at the body, but thanks. Well, no, not you. I'm talking to. Um... <laughs> Blanking on names. Just go to the door, Roger. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Darren, you don't look at the body, angel baby. You just, come on, let's go this way. <laughs> Neato. Uh, because I've already... Oh, uh, so, before we... So we need to find Roger. There's a body yeah. in the closet. And also this mirror's weird. I thought it was. That's why I had you look at it. You said you liked the weird things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... I don't think... My books don't say anything about mirrors that... The reflections don't copy. Well, they what? should copy. That's kind of their whole purpose. They're just reflective surfaces. They can't not copy. Except that it, it did. What? That doesn't... That's, I will grab her sense. and move her <laughs> in front of it. <laughs> You're going to keep me here. Um, and just be like, look. I, it's just her. <laughs> Just a mirror. You see your reflection. You see. You can see the the rest of the people behind you. You see some weird. You see some weird shadows back and forth, but that's because of the, like lanterns and flashlights and stuff like that. So, it's, you know. it's literally just a mirror. What are you talking about, guys? We All need right, to get mirror. out of the house with the dead body, please. We are not taking up the dead body. I'm not saying no. take the dead body. I'm saying no. we need to get away from the dead body. Yeah, let's just have the house downstairs. with the dead body, and I thought you meant like with the dead body. The house has the dead body. <laughs> yeah, okay, I realize now. All right, there was a the phone store. downstairs. We need sure to find was. Roger right. and and call <laughs> the police. How about if you guys go call, try to call the police, and we'll go look for Roger? I, I don't know. Okay. Split up again? Kill Wait, who's splitting up where? Where are we going? Last time we split up, I got attacked by a rat. Did don't you worry, die? I got it. Well, don't you mess with the rats. Back. I didn't want to mess with the rat. Okay, well, Sherwood and I are going to find the phone. So. All right. I'll uh, go with you. All right, you Tweedledee, Tweedledum, you're with me. Oh, all right, we're going upstairs. <laughs> Roger! You're already upstairs. Oh, yeah, there's another upstairs. I remember. Where's Tweedledee? Okay, we'll stay together. If you see anything weird, just yell. I will grab <laughs> I will grab each of them by their like wrists and just hold on to them. Maybe I'm tired. And <laughs> Who is walk... each of them? You and me. Uh Tweed... you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tweedledee like... and Tweedledum. It was like, wait, who's Tweedle? Like, <laughs> just not even within the possibility of their dumb. It's like who's Tweedledum? <laughs> <laughs> 
and I'll let you guys work out who's who. I and I will just sort of start dumb. walking back toward the hallway. Okay. Um, I don't really ready. have an, ex an expertise that will specifically apply to this, but can I notice anything about the cord? Since expertise? I've the body, body examination? <laughs> I'm not going uh, in there. I just want to see if I notice anything distinct about it. Uh, if not, then I can just leave that alone. Um, <laughs> you can make me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, ten total. Um, yeah. From what you can tell, it it looks like a uh, cord of uh, like a rope cord of cord of rope. No. Just a heavy duty rope. Uh, it doesn't look anything. There's no special. There's no knots or anything in it. There's nothing special. It wasn't like a noose wasn't made or anything like that. Right. Then just uh, gonna close the door for now. And... Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> so. So. Out of there. <laughs> so just to clarify, I didn't miss anything. So uh, everyone checked out the body except for our. our... Spirit. Darren. Uh, and Charlie. Charlie, Charlie did not so look at it either. Okay. Three yeah, out I don't five. need to see that, but thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So. Uh, so that you all of you leave the bedroom, go back on the landing. Uh, the, I, the plan right now is for two of you to go downstairs back to the kitchen, as far as I understand. Yep. And use the phone. What are the other three of you doing? We're looking for Roger. I so I suppose we're going to continue on. searching these rooms. I thought I was going to just open the door, yell for Roger, look inside. If I don't see him, next door. I'm going to go a little more tactical. Well, somebody else has got to open the door because both of my hands are occupied by your guys' arms. <laughs> okay, you can let go. I'm not going to... No! <laughs> you two right here outside the house for a second on this map because you two are technically downstairs there's a closet so, uh, you two go downstairs uh, back into the kitchen the kitchen's right off the stairwell so it's not that far So, uh, and the, the phone is actually on the wall closest to to that door anyway so yay um, with that um uh, Um, the other, the other rest of you are going through, um, into, uh, oh, someone's figured out how to open doors on the map. Awesome. <laughs> it makes my, makes my life easier. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, cool. So, I yeah, see you, in the closet. Um, seems dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I've already seen one body. If there's worst case, there's just another body. And I guess I'm just going to start getting ready to go into forensics when I get older. What's forensics? Oh my god. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm apparently not even good there. at forensics. I mean, I did. I think I did decent on the body. I don't know. I'm not a professional. What's in the closet? So, as you enter that, I just had to pull up the map real quick. So, uh, my, my cheat sheet map. So, you open the door uh, to that room. The, inside that room is, uh, is a, a small room with tons of uh, yarn and knitted needles and a dressmaker form and a rusted foot power, pow powered sewing machine. Um, Like a little craft room. Yeah, it is a, it's an old style sewing room. Um, there is, uh, and as you open the door, there is a light on in this room. Oh. Uh, so when you first open the door, uh, the there's a dressmaker form that throws shadows against the wall. So for half a second, you think some someone's in the room, and it kind of gives you all a, a jump scare for a moment. Um, it's just shadows. Where is the light coming from yeah uh there's a he put a candle behind the dressmaker for him so not directly up against it because he knows safety thank you <laughs> good so he's already been scout in. boy <laughs> but yeah he he snuck up here and as 
as you let out a, a yipe because you see uh, the shadow and you, you hear uh, from Roger. Get come out of there, you little toad. So, um, so he is laughing his ass off. Uh, he is he's actually literally rolling around on the floor and laughing so hard. I'm he hitting him with the, the pan. He was he was hiding in the closet. And I'm hitting him with the pan because oh, I no, opened no. the closet door. No 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 no. <laughs> no, it's not actually that hard of a hit because she doesn't have that strength, which is kind of that angry. So. Yeah, Roger's getting hit with the pan. Bang. So you, you gotta you gotta hit Roger with the pang. Let's get uh, not that hard, but hard enough to be annoying, but not hard enough to do damage. I'm guessing. Yeah. That's, that's the point. It's like when you get so. hit, and you're like, ow, but not like no. injured. I will release Tweedledum and grab Roger up by his collar area, like right here by the shoulder <laughs> collar area. After he got hit by a pan. <laughs> There's a dead body in this house, and we need to go. <laughs> What? And he Back actually said, like, what? Huh? Closet body. So, um, cool. Uh, I, uh, as you, you yank Roger, you, you grab hold of Roger, you yank him up, uh, uh, and get him because he's like, rah, rah, rah. He, he sits flat out, let me alone. This is funny. You should have saw the look on your faces, blah, blah, blah. And he's we'll just hit you again at the pan. And, uh, <laughs> you go to, you go to like, do that, but as you pull, as you pull, as uh, Charlie pulls Roger up and out of the way, you look down to where Roger had been rolling around on the ground, mm -hmm. and you see a small little handcrafted doll. Got me to that is is like, wearing the same exact outfit that you are currently wearing, and <laughs> and has this uh, hair is done to kind of try to look like your hair. Um. Who, who you? Who you? Charlie? No. The doll looks nope. like me? No. Harriet. Oh, cool. <laughs> Charlie? 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 What? 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 What now? <laughs> Stop finding things. <laughs> Stop finding things. We found bowl cut. Let's go. Let's go downstairs. Uh, I also found a voodoo doll. I didn't know it's a voodoo doll. Because this is a weird evil house where we found a body. I don't think that's what voodoo dolls look like. That does look like you, though, doesn't it? It does. Huh? Oh, wow. That's neato. It's not neat. well, Maybe <laughs> you want to pick it up because we maybe we don't want other people to have it. Well, I was going to pick it up. Because Harriet got just down to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to just leave it. I don't like this. This is weird. Reach over and just grab the hand. Hello. <laughs> you <have> the fan. <laughs> so, so are you pick, are you guys investigating looking at the doll? What? Yep. Are are you investigating and looking at the doll? Okay. Oh, I thought you said I licking heard... the doll. <laughs> <laughs> you do. What? And I was like, hmm. no. Doesn't taste like <laughs> you. Doll. Harriet, do you feel this lick? <laughs> Darren would totally do that, though. It looks like me. It tastes like me. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? <laughs> Ew. Darren just walked over one day and bit Harriet. So when, when Harriet <laughs> picks up the doll, I will go, you know, and I will reach out and just flick it on the shoulder. So as you pick up the doll and investigate the doll, uh, the doll... Um, doesn't have button eyes as little uh little uh cord stitched into it to make little two little x's across both where the eyes would be i love that i love that for me i love that for me <laughs> and as you're looking at it uh it's actually it looks like it's a like i said it's a cloth you know stuffed makeshift homemade doll and it looks like there's a it's designed to have a pocket in the center of it like the, where the abdomen would be because when you're picking it up and looking at it it opens up and red yarn tumbles out. Oh my god, it has guts in there. <laughs> I'm picking, I'm catching the red jarling because I don't want that to hit the ground. <laughs> I'm grateful so, out of my doll. 
So can I get a alienation test? Yeah. Can I get an alienation? Yes, I you can. can. <laughs> I don't the hounds of hell bay at our door. <laughs> Sherlock says, I got your alienation test. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to roll if I'm going to have to roll it again. There we are. That's an 11. I guess it's not even counting if I had other things. I did succeed at one test, I guess. Yes, and you succeeded at this one too. So that, that means I did. Time. Yeah. It's a, it was a low target number because it was it's it's creepy but not like a dead body. Yeah, maybe, dead body. <laughs> maybe we have a different vibe of what's creepy. The dead body puts me off, but the thing that I think is gonna murder me kind of puts me off more. <laughs> I think it's I don't think the doll is going to murder you. I think the doll is a threat. I think something's gonna okay, what category am I putting my TN in? Oh, it was uh Phenomena. Uh, yes. Do, 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 do. I also had a terror in phenomena. Is that supposed to do anything right now? Do, 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 uh, not yet. Okay, okay. I don't like it. I <laughs> I'm gonna put the red jarring that fell out of the doll back in the doll. <laughs> I think that goes a, in there. <laughs> they did do a very good job. There's a hole in the middle. It was designed that way. I think. Why? Why would you put a hole in it? Did you just? Did you just not see this? Looking at it, <laughs> the guy yeah. still being held by the scrub. <laughs> So, um, did you make that? Did. And I gotta shake Roger a little bit. <laughs> and you shake around. Did you? Did you do that? Did you make that? No, no, I didn't do that. Sewing's dumb. It's for girls. This doll's the only girl who's ever. But I guess that you. means that the ghost is gonna get you first, huh? Let's shut Maybe. up. All right. You, you little while. stinkweed. We are leaving. <laughs> Meanwhile, downstairs. You go downstairs um, and you well. go to check the phone. Um, pick up the phone. No dial tone. No dial tone. Um, it looks like it's it's seen slightly better days. Um, but it's not completely smashed. Um, so um, you can try to see if you can, you know, Butts with it to see if you can um, see if you can get, get, a, get it to respond or do something. Yeah, I'll try to fix it. Time to get your futz with a badge. Yeah, do you have a do you have a phone badge? Your you know, I actually a have a, a badge for uh, not craftsmanship, but uh, electronics. That's helpful. So he's going to start fiddling with it. Um, I don't have a particular focus, but I do have improvisation. So, Awesome. Um, would this just be intelligence? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, well, seven total. Um, and one stunt point if that is a success. Oh. Oh, what costly could go wrong? Um, <laughs> so, um, fiddle with it, fiddle with it, kind of smack it a little bit, you know, because it's the 80s. Everything just gets fixed by hitting it on the side really hard. Uh, or um, blowing into it. Yes. Um, and Uh, and you're able to get a dial tone. Oh, hey. You did it. Uh, yeah, of course. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah, it looks like it. Now, okay. Call uh, 911. Yeah, he's going to start uh, dialing. I'm not sure 911 is a thing. Is 911 not a thing? Hold on, well, let me Google when 911 was invented. Call the police. That's what yeah, I'm he doing. Know, right I'm now. sure he knows any. Oh, other... no. You know what? It is a thing. It 1968. Wow. Yeah, just so shut up. And the more you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he for sure knows like all the emergency numbers, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sheriff on speed dial. 
on his rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back with a yeah, chair, so... Scoutmaster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you go and dial the number uh, to try to get a hold of um, uh, the police, and uh, it uh, dial the number. It rings for half a second and kind of pops and hisses on the phone line. And you hear, <laughs> I don't. I don't think it no, works. Oh no, 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 no. Good. Child, you must be getting a hold of anyone else. And the line goes dead for half a second for a second, and then it loses all reception. Would you like to make an alienation <laughs> test, please? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say that Julia is like up against his face, like also trying to listen <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> I and I will totally allow that. So by all means, you want to also make me an alienation test as well. In okay. which category? Uh, it is it is phenomena. Most of what you're, you're having tonight has do, been phenomenal. Do, 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 do. I know. I can't not <laughs> hear it every time I say it. <laughs> Uh, 13 total with a... Cool. Uh, the, the target number for this was 13, so you both have succeeded. Oh, wait. Do you have any modifiers, any penalties right now? I do not. I have a TN mod of 1. Ah, which means you missed it, because it oh, would have no! bumped up the target. That modifier bumped up to the target number from 13 to 14 on you, so yep. you would have actually failed that that one. So you get a, a, a point in both uh, terror and... Um, enlightenment. Enlightenment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which category was that? Phenomena. Do 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 do. <laughs> so, so with that, um, I know we started a little late tonight, but it uh, is uh, we're normally about the time where we normally wrap up. So, um, and given everything that's kind of on, I think this is a great place to stop for the night, and uh, we'll pick up next week with with uh, what the the young would-be investigator heroes will do now that they uh, things have definitely taken a turn for the weird. <laughs> oh, no. So with that, about. so with that, I want to thank my my cast tonight. You guys were amazing. I loved it. Uh, I had so much fun. Um, I, I even if there was a little bit of scramble for the, the lighting and stuff at the beginning, but you know, we got it working. And cool. So uh, I'd like to thank everyone who's who tuned in tonight to join us. Uh, I really appreciate it. A um, couple of last housekeeping things before we sign off tonight. Um, I turn around. To, uh, so um, uh, again, a big shout out to uh, um, the uh, folks over at Green Running Publishing for making Cthulhu Awakens, uh, which is what we're using to power our game tonight. Uh, it's by the age system. By all means, go check it out. Um, I know there's lots of cool articles about it and, and uh, on the website and stuff. So, um, also a big shout out to um, Sentinel Hill Sit, Sentinel Hill Press. Uh, they they uh, I've adapted their module, the Dare, uh, for our stream tonight. So uh, that was written, like I said, by Kevin Ross and the team. And I love it. It's it's cool. I love all the '80s ness and some of the, the the tweaks I've made to the age system tonight for some of the focuses and stuff. Instead of the normal names, I'm using some of the names that they've used uh, to give it a little bit more fun vibe so um other than that uh, again shout out to our patreon members for the support uh without the, their help makes us able to do this kind of stuff so I appreciate that and same with north foundry so with that i'm going to turn it over to the team uh and see if any of the cat you know, cast members want to say or share and i'll start with cat Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a blast. I can't wait to see what happens next week. I'm also very <laughs> nervous to see what happens next week. Um, but definitely continue watching our one shots through this holiday season. There's going to be a lot of fun things going on. Um, and check out our podcast that is released every Friday. Um, and with that, I will pass it to Calvin. All right. Um, yeah, that was a that was a delightful little cliffhanger to leave <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It definitely did not sound like Roger on the phone, just in case you care. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> he's busy being hit by a van. Yes. 
Um, so yeah, definitely come back next week to see how the, where like who 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 was the phone? Who was phone there? Who was phone? <laughs> who was phone? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and additionally, there's a bunch of awesome one shots and stuff coming up as well as the new show, something in the dark, as well as the podcast. So check out all of that stuff. And if you are on YouTube, uh, please check out the Lumith Ice channel where we have a weekly tabletop RPG podcast and gaming streams. Um, I kind of held Ramon, my podcast friend, partner, um, I kind of held him prisoner for a bit so he could help me plan my Lancer one shot. So, <laughs> uh, if you want to know what might be going on with that, then check out today's episode. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it off to Wiki. Hi. Bye. <laughs> it's been fun. We're all going to die. Yep. Me. <laughs> what? We're not going to die. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, have to admit, it's a ton of fun. Uh, Gotta love the creepy, creepy stuff. Uh, having a blast. These guys are fun. Uh, check us out uh, other places. I guess no one here is to plug it like normal. So, hey, we have a Patreon. You can go support us there if you'd like. Um, there are cool perks. Uh, we're pretty cool people. Um, take care of yourselves. Drink water. Uh, we love you. Um, don't summon a demon. <laughs> Or do. I don't know. Have fun. <laughs> Live a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 16. I can support giving bad life advice. Ah, uh, is everyone else going or am I going insane? No, nope, deuce. <laughs> deuce. So how do you follow and in this? Obviously, don't be a Roger. Rogers are not good people. <laughs> Boo. Rogers are the speedster of Cthulhu. Don't get a bull cut. <laughs> exactly. Rogers can run very quickly. And you should never play someone who could run quickly in any game you need to be brave like the bean ghost stand up to polar gusts be the person you want to be be a better person i may not be smart like sherwood or intelligent like charlie or caring like harriet or popular like juliet but darn it i'm no coward and i'll fight that polar gust wherever he is you should too and leave a comment to tell us what your favorite Halloween costume is, because I'm curious, too. And maybe yours oh, didn't yeah. make you cry like mine did. Who knows? <laughs> but that, back to Jonesy. So, uh, thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, we will be back next week. Uh, we'll be starting at our normal, our usual time of 7. Um, and uh, we'll just, uh, we start a little late tonight because of some technical stuff, but we will be starting at our normal time next week. Uh, and we'll be wrapping up this adventure, hopefully, next week. That's the plan. Um <laughs> Uh, they're yeah they're halfway through the house and things are starting to really take a turn for the weird so yeah um and with that uh again uh if you like what we do um please let your friends know even if you you, you can't join on patreon or do any of that other stuff uh just let people know where to find us is is a huge help as well and then also um um uh yeah um check out the, the cool people that are help uh help make our streams possible so with that thank you all and good night Awkward Cavalry.